hear me like if I sit back like this, right? Okay. Because the other day I was like leaning over like this. And okay. <laughs> Okay, we are uh, ready to begin with questions for Colin Smith. Uh, please use your raise hand function to indicate you want to ask a question. Recording in progress. Colin, we'll get started with Nate Allen. Um, Colin, just as far as just winning this whole term and what does it mean? Because I know it seems like they always start off with thinking, well, you just want to play a few games and get ready for the regionals. And as the more you play, the more you want to win, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, it's something we've never done here at Arkansas. And our uh, team kind of uh, bounded together and said that uh, we want to do this for uh, DVH, man. We want, we, want, we want to get this thing done for him. I know he secretly, he might not say it, but he secretly wants to win this thing every single year he's here. And uh, we want to do that for him. And, yeah, I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. I just, I'm just glad we won it, dude. Okay, hey, we'll go to Andrew Hutchinson. Colin, could you walk us through your at bat with that that home run there, and I guess it was the the eighth inning or whenever it was. Yeah, um, he. I think I believe he picked off four or five times, maybe, and Bobby was giving him fits over there, and I was sitting on a first pitch heater. I knew there was two outs. I knew the odds of us stringing three or four hits together right there to score a run was going to be. Um, you know, hard, and I was just sitting on a middle middle heater, and I got one, um, put a good swing on it. I honestly didn't think it was going to go out. Um, I thought it was, I, I was just hoping it, it got over his head. To be honest, you know, I got a double out of it, but I mean, I'm sure glad it did. I'm sure glad it got it out. And next we have Tom Murphy. Yeah, Colin, three home runs for you in this tournament. Uh, just what kind of groove do you feel like you're in with, with the postseason underway? Oh, I feel incredible, man. I feel like I'm finally swinging the bat like I know how to swing the bat and how I've swung the bat my whole entire career. So um, not to say that I thought I was, I was swinging it bad, but I, I'm, I feel like I'm finally breaking out of that shell and, uh, and, and hitting like I know how to. And could you give us a word about the, the pitching you saw today between Wiggins and y'all brought Lockhart in, you know, who had started here in the tournament, and, and then Cox? Yeah, uh, I thought Wiggins did a phenomenal job. I thought their hitters did a phenomenal job. I thought them – Stringing together a run right there with two outs was fantastic, fantastic baseball. I thought, you know, Wiggins throws 98, and even though, even when you know it's coming, I mean, it's still hard to hit. You know, it might not look that way, but it is. And then um, I believe who came out after him? Lock, Lockhart or uh, – oh, I'm sorry, Costu. Costu came in, did a fantastic job. Lockhart came in and did exactly what he did the first day through, shoved the ball. And then, of course, Kevin Copps is Kevin Copps, man. He gave up a home run right there and then uh, did what he does. I mean, didn't face him whatsoever. And uh, I, I think the dudes uh, should win the Golden Spikes. I've never seen anything like this. In my five years of college baseball, I've never seen a pitcher so dominant in my whole entire life. And even he's an even better guy. So he deserves it. He absolutely deserves it. Hey, now we have Bob Holt. Uh, hey, hey, Colin, how you doing? You know, a lot of times if somebody has to switch a position, uh, maybe it affects their offense, you know, their concentration or some confidence, whatever. But you moved across the diamond and you know, obviously it didn't affect your hit at all. I thought you played a pretty good first base. Kind of, how, how did that work for you this week, move, moving from third to first and then hitting as well as you did? Yeah, I mean, I think regardless of the position, I think that the bat was going to be there this weekend. I, I started really feeling it against Tennessee at their place, and then I, I knew I was about to, about to get it going. But de defensively, I mean, I practiced – uh, I practiced there the whole entire fall. I thought that was the best shot I had to, you know, get on the diamond. So, I mean, that's what I did. I asked coach, and he said, get a little reps at third, second, um, first. So, I mean, I, f I feel fantastic over there. I still have um, having some trouble going after balls to my right just because at third base I go, you know, I go and try and get every everything to my left. But uh, other than that, I'm, I, I feel great. I feel great picking the ball. I feel great stretching. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a heck of a lot easier than uh, third base, in my opinion. So <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't bother me. And then Jalen's the MVP. Mm -hmm. um, what what do you think his play this week, and just maybe what he's done all season for you guys? Yeah, the dude's an absolute stud. I mean, the the whole team is is filled with absolute studs. But that guy's a big league at shortstop right now. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And uh, Bobby's a big leaguer at second base right now. And you got that double play combo. I mean, that's going to happen. I mean, the the dude is an absolute beast. 
He, he started to swing it well this weekend. He was barreling balls, hitting absolute lasers. I knew in his BP and his prep work that he was going to go off for us, and, uh, and, we, and we sure needed it, man. Okay, and now we have Matt Jones. Watching the game, it, it felt like the game kind of turned on Jalen's uh, defensive play to end the fourth inning. Uh, how did it feel on the field and in the dugout after that play, and, and, and how much of a, a momentum change did you feel like that was? Oh it, oh, it it changed the whole entire game. There's no doubt about that. I thought that was a knock right off the bat. I mean, the dude. I mean, he Jalen Battles is Jalen Battles, man. That it that, that literally did not surprise me that he did that. Not not one bit. If another shortstop did that, it would surprise me. But Jalen Battles, absolutely not. I mean, the dude is an absolute big leaguer at shortstop. And uh, he's been making plays like that all year. I mean, it's, it's not surprising. But as a momentum standpoint, I mean, it was humongous. We came to the dugout, screaming, and fired up. Most hype we've been the whole entire game. And, uh, you know, and then, boom, get it going. I think we put up a three-spot or two-spot or something. I can't really remember. I'm sorry. But, uh, I mean, it's, that's what he does, man. That's what he does. That's why we're as good as we are. It, it was three runs. Mm -hmm. You said that uh, you guys wanted to do this for Dave. Yeah. Uh, what what was the post game like with him? What was uh, that interaction like? Yeah, uh, that's probably most fired up I've seen him, man. The dude uh, really doesn't show too much emotion, but uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm glad I'm just glad we got that for him. I think he was fired up. I think all the guys were fired up. Um, I think I think we know that we got a lot more to do. I think this was just a stepping stone in what we wanted to accomplish this year. You know, regular season champs, not losing an SEC series, and then now we sweep the SEC tournament. Um, it's just. It's just another stepping stone for us, man. We want to we want to go to a regional. I mean, we want to win a regional. We want to win a super regional. We want to win a national championship. So that's why I came here, and that's why all the, these guys are here. And coach and Coach Van Horn knows that uh, that's the end goal for us. I mean, I'm, I'm he sure likes this one though. That's for sure. Hey, Nate Allen, do you have a follow up? I said I'm good, thank you. Hey, Bob, do you have a follow-up? Yeah, Colin, with you being from Nate. I'm sorry, I can't. I cut out. I'm okay. sorry, I done mute again. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah, I got you. Okay, great. With you being from Nashville and playing in East Tennessee, and you know, Vandy and, and Tennessee are obviously the big, big schools, especially mm -hmm. in baseball in that state. Uh, was there any extra, uh, I don't know, fun to beat Vanderbilt and Tennessee to win this tournament for you? And had, had you faced those guys at East Tennessee State? Uh, I have. I faced. I have faced both teams at East Tennessee State, but um, I, I would not really. I mean, they're fantastic ball teams, and other than other than the fact that you know I want to beat the best teams in the country, you know, when we play them. But uh, it it doesn't matter. That's the thing about us, man. It, it doesn't matter who's who's across the field from us, man. We're going we're going to give you our best shot every single time. We're going to try to win every single ball game we play. I mean, uh, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't want Tennessee to to beat us in the uh, SEC championship. That's for sure. But uh, I'm just I'm just glad we won it, man. I'm, this is a dream come true for me. You know, um, I'm sure glad I, I chose to come to the University of Arkansas. That's for sure. In this tournament, when the going four and zero makes you guys twenty six and eight against SEC teams this year, twenty and four against teams in the top twenty five, the current poll. Um, speaking of beating the best, what kind of momentum does that give you guys and confidence going into the postseason? Um, I mean, same momentum we've had all year, honestly. I mean, with this team is so resilient, and. The attitude we have towards every game is no game, you know, no game is bigger than the, this game right here is the biggest game of the season. The next game is the biggest game of the season. And, uh, you know, when you get into postseason play, that's that's actually how a lot of teams treat it. But we've treated every single game like that. And uh, we just know we just know we're some dogs, man. We know we know we're the best team in the, in, in the country for a reason. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And, and we're ready to go get it. We're ready to give it our best shot. That's for sure. Hey, Colin, that's all we have for you. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you all so much. We are now uh, joined by Jalen Battles. Uh, use your raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. And Jalen, we will get started with Andrew Hutchinson.
Jalen, uh, what's it mean to you to be a part of Arkansas's first ever team to, to win an SEC tournament championship? Uh, I mean, it's big, of course. I mean, just coming here, being able to play, and I mean, it's it was huge. It's been very fun, and I mean, I can't be more blessed to be a part of this special team. And what did you see on your home run today? Could you walk us through that that at bat? Uh, I mean, I mean, as, as y'all saw, the first pitch he quick pitched me, and I mean. In my head, I'm like, really, dude? I mean, it kind of made me mad, so I guess I knew. Um, I was expecting another off-speed pitch, and he hung a breaking ball, and I took my anger out on it, so. Okay, and now we have Tom Murphy. Hey, Jalen, we just had Cullen on, and he said something about Dave was fired up in that post-game celebration as he's seen him. Uh, and he said that you guys kind of were out there to win it for Dave. What do you think of that? Oh man, it was huge. I mean, we've that's probably the most fired up we've seen coach in in a while. I mean, cuz he's always just locked in with the game, but seeing that probably brought the fire to us. So, I mean, we we're I guess we we're playing for coach as well. So, you had a good tournament. You got the MVP of it. Uh, just just how how you're feeling about your game right now? Uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling very confident. I mean, coming in, I talked to my uncle and I mean, he gave me a lot of inspiration, you know, just getting my head right for it, but um honestly, I thought Cullen was going to win MVP of the tournament because, I mean, he was just outstanding every game, I mean. But I'm very blessed to be the MVP. Okay, now we have Bob Holt. Hey, hey Jalen, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, Cullen moved from third to to first, and, and yet, uh, I guess, Wallace there in there third. Well, what'd you, but it seemed like the infield, you guys really didn't miss a beat. What did you think about the infield play, even when you had to move some guys around? Uh, I mean, it's wherever we, wherever we put anybody, it's gonna be the best. De I mean, the best defense. So I mean, it was we just you know kept the same confidence as we had the whole year, and I mean, it was just it was good. So. And, and then uh, you know, winning the regular season like y'all did, now winning this tournament title, not many teams have done that. What kind of momentum do you think that gives you guys going into the regional next weekend? Uh, I mean, I'd probably say it's just the same as all year. I mean. We're a very confident team, and I mean, I know we, we think we can play with anybody and beat them. So, I mean, it's just, especially we're going to have our fans as well going into the region tournament, so it's going to be even more fun. Okay, now we go to Matt Jones. When Slavens was injured earlier this week, uh, you lost a lot of production, and, and Smith, at least for these last few games, has made up for that. What did you think of the, the play he had this week and, and how he filled Brady's shoes? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was huge. I mean, um, he probably didn't like going to first, but I mean, it's what had to do for best for the team. So I mean, he was he was very effective and very bought in with the team to play first. So, how much desire was there for you guys to win this tournament after winning the regular season and and you know not having any dispute about whether or not you're the best team in the conference? Uh, I mean, we just came in having that mindset that we're going to win it. I mean. We, we wanted it so bad. I mean, we got to this last game. We were, I mean, we were like, why don't we just win it now? So it was, it was fun. Okay, we go back to Bob Holt. Oh, Jalen, you know, I was just wondering, you, you, your batting average probably isn't what you'd like it to be on the season, but it seems like you always come up with big hits and timely hits. Just kind of what have you thought about the season you've had, you know, as a hitter? Uh, I mean, uh, for me, I feel like I started out pretty well. Then it kind of went went away. Then, you know, towards the end it's gotten better. So I mean, it's just take it one bat at a time and just you know really lock it in. Okay, thanks. Thank you. And Andrew Hutchinson. Yeah, Jalen, it was a pretty big stage for a freshman today. How did you think uh, Jackson Wiggins handled things on the mound? Oh, he handled it. I mean, he probably probably the best. I mean, in my head I was thinking like go get revenge from what they did. But I mean, he, he did very well and I'm, I'm proud of him. I mean, he gave us good innings and it was, it was good. Okay, and finally, Tom Murphy. Jalen, how would you rate your defensive play, the stop in the hole and the force out at second base? That looked pretty sweet on TV. Uh, probably one of the best plays I made in my life. So, I mean, it, it was fun. And my last question, all the analysts have you guys pretty much number one in the in the tournament. Uh, how do you feel? And you won every weekend you played this year. How do you feel about your chances uh, heading into the postseason? Very confident. I mean, we're just we're ready to get it started. I mean, 
just keep keep winning really so okay thank you thank you hey jalen that's all we have uh thank you and congratulations thank you for having me It's going to be a few minutes before uh, Coach Van Horn gets to us, so please be patient. If you'll have a question for Coach Van Horn, you can go ahead and use your raised hand function to get in the queue. Thank you. <laughs> 